you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. This famous dialogue describes our next story. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega has won a record fourth term in office. He is extending his rule over the crisis-hit country after a ruthless crackdown on dissent before the polls. The West is calling the elections a charade. Sanctions are looming over the long-time leader's head. But the former revolutionary remains defiant. The year was 1979. The Sandinista revolution was taking over Nicaragua. Daniel Ortega had become a hero after toppling longtime dictator Anasazio Somoza. It was a victory for the left wing revolutionary, who would go on to rule the country for 40 years. But four decades later, Ortega resembles the same dictator that he helped overthrow. According to preliminary results on Monday, the leader has secured a record fourth term in office, but not without veering away from democracy. It was in 1984 that Ortega won his first election. He soon lost it all in 1990 to opponent, Violeta Chamorro. The defeat was what shaped Ortega's political life when he took office again in 2007. The leader did not want to make the same mistakes again, so he waged a war against Nicaragua's democratic institutions. In Nicaragua, no hay elecciones. In, Nicaragua, in Nicaragua, there are no elections. In Nicaragua, there is an electoral circus where Ortega chose those who will accompany him in his political circus. He detained prominent opposition figures, criminalized any sort of dissent, shut down several political parties, banned campaigns by his challengers, and even shut down voting stations all in the name of protecting Nicaragua's interest. In 2018, there were major protests against Ortega, so he clamped down on any dissent in the country. At least 300 people died in the crackdown. Over 150 more remain behind bars. This year again, 37 Ortega adversaries were detained. His party, the Sandinista National Liberation Front, was the only prominent one taking part in the polls. This fourth consecutive term makes him the longest serving ruler in the Americas. But Ortega's problems don't end with this win. The West is calling the elections a sham. And international pressure is piling up. But the long term leader remains defiant. They say they have nothing to do with the act of terrorism they financed here in our country in April 2018. Maybe if those who entered the Congress should have also blocked the United States highways, it would have paralyzed the economy of the United States. There they would have launched an army, tanks and aircrafts at them. Ortega's relationship with the US was never cordial. But this time, things have escalated further. US President Joe Biden has denounced the polls. They are planning sanctions on the new administration. Sanctions that Ortega can blame for the country's poor economic condition. Nicaragua is one of the poorest countries in the Americas. Between 2018 and 2020, its GDP has contracted by nearly 8.8%. More than 200,000 Nicaraguans have left the country since 2018. The latest polls could spur further immigration. For Ortega himself, life has come a full circle. He was once the darling Sandinista revolutionary of the West, trying desperately to overthrow an oppressive regime. Now, he is the one leading it. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.